has these moments of realization, like, I worked hard my whole life, and like, look, look where it's brought me. Here, working in a vehicle with Jordan Wheeler of YouTube fame. <laughs> no, all he's done is brought me more work. <laughs> all right, guys, welcome to today's video. Now, I know I haven't been making a lot of content recently on my channel, but that doesn't mean that I haven't been making content. In fact, we have been making content, but I've been making it with these guys right here. We got Caleb. How's it going? Konnichiwa gozaimasu. And we got Antonio. He don't say much, but we actually work at Leaf Johnson Ford. Some of you might know that from following me on Instagram. And we make a ton of content there. But today's video, we're at SEMA because we're gonna be building a 2024 Mustang GT RTR Spec 2 Live. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm here at the RTR booth and I'm here with Jordan Wheeler. He's one of the guys that helps us kind of build all these cars and do all the cool things that we're doing. So Jordan, how are you feeling? Dude, I'm feeling great. I'm ready to knock off this build. Uh, we've had people coming by just in preparation, seeing us set everything up. So oh, yeah. it's gonna be killer all week long, knocking this thing out. So what are you most excited about? That yellow, where's the yellow one? That's the one that's got me going crazy. I love that color. Dude, I absolutely love that. I built that about two weeks ago out in North Carolina at the RTR lab. But I gotta say, I love this color, especially with those brakes. I think this car is really gonna pop once we get the Spec 2 package on it. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And so I get it on camera. You said you're gonna help me learn how to drift, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You'll be the best. You'll be in prospect before you know it. <laughs> oh, okay. You heard it here first. I'll be in prospect before I know it. So you don't gotta fluff me up, dude. It's okay. No, it's okay. I'm I, I, if I'm putting my name behind you, you better do good or you don't talk to me anymore. Oh, okay. And just so you guys know, he actually has a Spec Five. Yes. RTR S550 Mustang, and you road track it. You road there's Caleb. Yep. You uh, you road racer, right? Yeah, I take it out to Coda from time to time, trying to get those miles racked up on it and all the fun that I can have. <laughs> I'm trying to rack up the miles so yes. I can get the new one. Exactly. Yeah. So I actually, I was talking to Antonio. I introduced him earlier. He didn't say a single word, but we actually built our, my yellow Mustang at the dealership. Oh yeah. Already with all the options. There's a couple options I think I'm going to take out, mm -hmm. but I mean, I put Ricardo seats in it. I put the handbrake in it and then the spec two package on top of it to see like what it would all come out to. Dude, that car is so sick. Now that I see it in person, I even like the bronze wheels on it. I know you said black, yeah. but I gotta get a close-up shot of that car so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And when the light hits it, it really pops that color yeah. and totally changes it, takes it to the next level. I, I love it. And I had a grabber blue car, so I love bright colors. Yeah. But with the package that we have on that thing, it breaks up the color and makes it a little bit more digestible for people. Yeah, because so. the black wheels, I feel like that's very clean. Yeah. But the bronze wheels, I feel like it does set it apart. I like that a lot. Yeah. And it, then the lights are orange too, right? When they turn on. Yeah, so it'll be yeah. a switchback for the turn signal. So yeah, yeah, it's pretty sick. No, that, that yellow looks freaking good. I know I'm ranting here, but that like I love that car back there. The one we're building here is actually it's rapid red, right? Yep. Not was race red is the other race color? red is gonna be more yeah. like a fire engine red, but yeah. Yeah, so this one's rapid red. Again, it's a great looking car. But wait until I show you guys that car up close. But that's enough ranting for now because we actually got to get started yes. on this car. And as the sun keeps getting higher, it's getting hotter and hotter. <laughs> yes, so I'm like, we got to hurry up. It's like I can't see. Yeah. All right, let's get started. All right, so this is my this is my homeboy Isaac, aka Turtle Media. So Long right. story short, because I know you guys are wondering how the how the heck did I end up here building an RTR Spec 2 Mustang with RTR through my dealership with which he's repping the hat, Leaf Johnson Ford, and basically it was him. Last year we were here at SEMA. He helped me make a thumbnail for our YouTube video, and then he introduced us to Jordan at RTR, and then it just kind of all took off from there. And then we saw them building a Spec 2 at the Gear Wrench booth. And then we were like, man, I wonder if we could do that. We called them up and here we are. And that's essentially how we got here. So it was because of this guy right here. Thank you so much, dude. Of course. And he's got a ton of drift content. He's got three drift cars. Fox Body, S197. And that's it. Oh no, the S550 is a wide body spec it's too. Just a, it's just a show, it's a show car. car, but but you're thinking about getting a S652, right? Eventually, maybe. Eventually. So you guys are gonna see him drifting on you can check him out at Turtle Media. He does a ton of drifting. He does a ton of other content as well. We would see you drifting if you didn't, you know, box You know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm like, we would see you drifting if, like, you know. Oh, I, you oh, know no, you will see me drifting on the 19th. I'll be at Coda. You're so right. 19th at Coda. So wait, that's like certified though. Like you're oh, actually yeah. doing it? Yeah, I already got the new engine. I bet. 
Yeah, this is the only guy in the world we know that blew up a 5-0. Like, how do you blow up? <laughs> no, not true. Not true. <laughs> Dude. Not true. Last year, Adam LC blew one up, too. Okay, well, we're, that's a whole different level, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, he'll be at, we'll all be at Coda. Yup. On the 19th for a drift event. And we'll be supporting our boy there. My car won't be there. But it's getting there. Okay, we gotta get to work. I need extra large. Jordan has tiny hands. I need extra large. <laughs> All right guys, little update time real quick. We finished the complete front suspension on the Spec 2. Got everything buttoned up again. Had to completely take apart the intakes in order to put the new sway bar. You can see it right there. It's a lot thicker, it makes the car planted. Um, actually, I lied, we're not finished. I gotta put the shocks and struts back in. But cool thing about the sway bar is that it's actually adjustable. So because this car is going to the dealership, we just have it on the neutral setting for now. And then in the rear, Jordan needs help from moving the sway bar, and I'm here making a vlog, so let me help him real quick. Give me um, a seven, because we're gonna have to take this tray off. Okay, so we got that. So yeah, that's where we're at right now, and it's not even that late in the day. We're hitting about lunchtime right now, so once this is done, that's all we're tackling for today, and then tomorrow we'll go ahead and do all the appearance on it, and it'll be show ready. So we're moving really quick. Exciting stuff. I've said hi to a lot of you guys. A lot of my friends have been coming up, so that's been pretty cool. Um, but what is it? The third and fourth day, we'll actually be able to walk around and check out a lot of the cool stuff. All right, guys, I got to put my shades on. So we just finished the spec two suspension parts on the car. Everything's done up. I don't know if you can hear the ride alongs with RTR going on in the background, but that's going to be it for today. Now, let me show you these wheels and tires. You see, you got everything done up. You won't really be able to tell what the car looks like until we put it on the ground, but so far I'm pretty happy with it. That's it for today. Didn't get to do much else, um, but now I'm gonna get something to eat and we'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, day two of our RTR SEMA build and we got ride alongs, right Caleb? Yes, sir. And uh, Caleb was scared and he didn't want to do it at first, but Josh over there said you're getting in the car. You know what's crazy? I thought they would say like, oh yeah, it's cool. Yeah, don't you don't have to do it. And then they're like, no, you're doing it. I'm like, uh, uh, boundaries? <laughs> so this is his first ride. I think it's my second. We did it last year. Uh, but you just can't pass it up, right? New seventh generation Mustang, got the new look, got the boys out there, so. Uh, well, but you, you physically can't pass it up. Like, physically like, can't. Like you literally cannot say no. So I'm here. <laughs> so for the first time, I think that your first drift ride was actually a pro-am, not even a pro-am event. It was like a, a local drift event. It was. And then we told you, yeah, this is completely different. That guy was insane. But like now I'm like, yo, that's Chelsea's an alpha. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so we're gonna enjoy this ride. I'll see if I can film it and we'll see you guys on the other side. Shiza. Okay, whereabouts? Uh... What's going on, Vlog? How's it going? Shout out to 
to uh, Toronto Racing. Ryan Garcia to Toronto. Yeah, man, you got me in this car. The car was fucking sick. It was amazing. Bro, with Chelsea, the Nova. Really cool, guys. I have to say, I didn't think I was going to want to do it. I was trying to actually get out of it. But then, like, since they were really adamant on me doing it, I did it. And look, I almost pissed a little bit. Not too much, okay? But, like, after all that happened, I'm completely fine. They're professionals, but I have to say, come do it if you guys are, are in the market for it. Market, fuck it. Holy cow, guys. After that drift ride, I really didn't film any updates, but we were actually super busy finishing up the spec two, and we actually finished it. Uh, right now, Jordan is finishing the shift knob install. Got the dash plaque in there. This is RTR spec two, number five. You get that serialized dash plaque signed by Vaughn Gittin Jr. And he might come by and actually sign the car as well but this thing came out absolutely awesome only showed a little blood smashed one finger but as you guys can see i mean the car looks absolutely wicked and again if you want to see the full build video it'll be on leaf johnson forge youtube channel um, and rtr vehicles youtube channel as well and you'll see all our banter and craziness that ensued as we started building this car but everything went smooth we have one more day of sema which is tomorrow and we get to enjoy the show just a little bit walk around see some action at the hoonigan burn yard um, see some action again here with rtr vehicles and their broncos the the spec what are they spec five and their drift cars Right, guys it's been a crazy trip SEMA is finally wrapping up as you can see uh, we got Jeff behind us in the Celine Bronco rolling out we're tearing down the RTR stuff I mean it's been just it's been just absolutely incredible and to top it all off to make everything just a little more sweeter I'm gonna be driving the RTR spec 2 Mustang in the SEMA parade and this is just bananas to me right now because if you guys have been following me for a long time my first SEMA trip, I was pretty much lost. I have no idea what, what I was doing. And then to fast forward to today, all the greatness we've accomplished together, and I'm pretty much living all the things that I wanted to do. And none of this would have even been possible if it wasn't for my actual job at Leaf Johnson Ford, if it wasn't for RTR vehicles, trusting us in building this vehicle, trusting us in doing the media, filming it, and putting on just a great feature for everybody to see how easy it is to do this and how fast it can get done. So it's just crazy because I started all this using an iPhone that I'm doing now because my GoPro died, but using an iPhone, making videos on YouTube, and now I'm here at the world's largest automotive trade show, about to drive out an RTR spec to Mustang. I got to meet Von Gittin Jr. I'm, I'm pretty much just, like none of it feels real. Like it's, it's none of it's really sunk in yet. So like I'm looking at these RTR Broncos here and I'm like, I'm just, I'm just blown away and extremely grateful for everything that I've been given to be able to do all this kind of stuff and grateful for you guys because a lot of you guys came up to me and telling me that you remember from where I started and to how far I'm getting now. And that actually means a lot to me. A lot of you guys remember my first Instagram handle, which was nothing impressive, but just the fact that you remember that far back. But guys, I'm about to jump into that, get home, relax a little bit. This has been the most rewarding and satisfying SEMA yet, but also the most exhausting. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, I gotta give my man Tones a shout out. Cause <laughs> I've had to fight him to actually let me drive. It wasn't it wasn't too difficult, but he's like, we'll see about that. So Antonio, thank you for letting me drive, which is perpetually just sitting in traffic. I put this thing in drive. <laughs> so there's Jeff Cruz right there. Look at him. 
Oh my god, he thinks he's so cool chewing that gum, dude. He's gonna see this and be like, <laughs> he's gonna be like, man, screw you. There he is. Let's go. But like I was saying, Antonio, thank you, dude. Of course. Let's go ahead and, and roll out and uh, round out our SEMA 2023 trip. Every week, every year, we make it bigger and bigger. We need to go get Del Taco. So don't, don't oh, that. if you don't know Del Taco, people are gonna judge us now. <laughs> if you don't know Del Taco, you don't know fast food Mexican, but I'm getting <laughs> carne asada fries and a chicken quesadilla. How about I you? No idea what I'm getting yet. I gotta, try, I gotta try something new every single time I go. Not me, dude. I found my two things. I'm done. Nah, I gotta. <laughs> I might get the carne asada fries though this time. Yeah, no, they're delicious. Yes. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> Those are bright, dude. <laughs> All right, man, let's roll out. Again, thank you guys for joining me on my journey since the beginning. This has been completely epic. I know I'm talking in circles now, but until next time, guys, peace out. Why are you still freaking here? I'm in traffic. Uh, Jesus Christ, oh, don't they know you're an RTR? You should be at the lead. <laughs>